Good afternoon, this is Elliot Jones, former student of the Darren Clark Golf School. How are we today, Elliot? Very well, thank you, Mark. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm good, thanks. Just want to ask you a few questions, if that's all right. Absolutely. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Okay, so obviously um, you've completed the course now at the Darren Clark Golf School, and just want to ask you a few questions with regard to uh, your two years there. Um, so, first question, um, can you tell me a little bit about what attracted you first to the Darren Clark Golf School and why it was a good fit, or you felt it was a good fit for furthering your career? Um, there's a couple of different things that attracted me really. It was um, a combination of uh, the practice facilities, the coaches, um, and the opportunity of getting to work on my education as well as my golf, um, and in a, in a completely different environment and structure than I'd ever worked on it before. So it was completely unique and new for me to work on, on my education and golf like that. Okay. Um, overall, what was your favourite part of the programme that you enjoyed the most? I think being in control of your education was, was a real key for me. It was... Um, something that I was able to, to want to be on top of and really excel in, um, but also the freedom of, if you were ahead, you could go away and play in tournaments and so on. Um, but I think the structure in the golf, uh, golf programme made the real difference into, into my making the improvements that I did and, and being able to go on and achieve what I achieved. And how do you think your golf and your education progressed in comparison for example, if you had a stayed within mainstream education? Um, absolutely, my education, would have, I never would have achieved the results or the UCAS points that I did achieve um, by staying in mainstream education, I've got no, no doubt about that. Um, and I don't think that my golf would have improved at the rate at which it did without the, without the support of the Darren Clark Golf School. Great. And, um, Going forward from what you achieved within the Darren Clark Golf School, what opportunities um, has the qualification from there given you? Um, well, the qualification itself gave me it opened several doors for me at the end of the end of the two years. Um, I could have done any number of different things, but it gave me the opportunity to um, to move back to the mainland where I was originally from um, and join the Lee Westwood Golf School. Um, I enrolled in the PGA and I'm uh, currently working at Stoke on Aden, um, helping students that I've been through the same process as, so it's a great benefit for me to be able to give back a little bit to the guys and hopefully um, give, them a, give them a shoulder to lean on when they need it and give them a real boost in the right direction that, which I needed. Great. And, um... You know, for, for any student looking to undergo the programme that you did, um, you know, obviously would you recommend uh, the programme and, you know, what, what sort of direction would, would you give them in terms of going about um, enrolling in the, in the, in the programme at the Darren Clark School? Um, I think if you're, you're looking at potentially moving, say, from England over or if you're looking at travelling long distances, it's really important that you go up and see the guys, meet the coaches obviously, see the facilities that they have and decide for yourself, um, decide for yourself whether it's something that you really want to do because you are there for a two year period of time, it is, um, it is still school um, so there is still a lot of, lot of work that you, that you do but both on your, on your golf as well, it's, it's something that you've got to make the decision on yourself and if you're lucky, lucky enough to be given the opportunity for any host of reasons, whether you're, first of all, whether you get accepted, not everybody gets accepted. It's one of those things that you have to grab with both hands and, and never look back and just go full steam ahead. And you as somebody who who travelled there, um, you've obviously came and you stayed there uh, full time. How did you find the move um, across in terms of uh, staying there full time and, and um, you know, only going home at the weekends or every, every couple of weeks? Yeah, no, it was um, it was certainly a different different um, scenario than I'd ever been faced with. But I had um, I had the opportunity um, of using the practice facilities pretty much every weekend, going when I wanted to. Um, and I had the local town as well, which isn't far away. I joined the gym uh, there and quite often played at the local golf club that 
the sport like Mazarin, which I really enjoyed. I still had a good bit of freedom and it wasn't too difficult to get around. I could get into Belfast easily enough if I wanted to. It was, um, it was certainly a different transition, but it was something that I'm definitely glad that I did. Great. Well, thanks for your time today, Elliot, and the best of luck going forward in your career. Thank you. Cheers.